we are going to review again cause and effect. Okay? Before beginning, before starting, we have to know what is the cause and what is an effect. The cause is what makes something happen. It is what makes some, what makes something happen. So when you read a sentence, you have to ask yourself these questions. What happened first? Very important, okay? What is the thing that happened first? Second question, why did this happen? Why? Okay? So the answer will be the reason. Why did this, this thing happen? Good. For the effect. An effect is what happened because of something else. Another thing, okay? What happened because of something else? So at this time, when you read the sentence, you have to ask yourself these questions. These questions. What happened second? Very important. The second action. What happened second is the effect. Or what was the result? What was the result? Here you have the effect, the result. Good. Let's read these couples of, of examples. Couple of examples. The boy was grounded because he cheated on the exam. Okay? The boy was grounded because he cheated on the, on the test. So, in your opinion, which action is the first? Was the boy grounded first or did he cheat on the test? Of course, this one is the first action and this one is the result of this action, okay? The bad result. So this is number two. So as I already told you, when you ask what happened first, we are talking about the cause. So here, the first action is the cause and the second action is the result. So of course, we have to use the cause connector because it's a cause connector. Example two. It got dark because the sun went down. The sun went down. Okay? The sun set. Which action is the first? It got dark or the sun went down? Of course, the sun went down is the first action. After that, the result was that it got dark. So here is the effect sentence and this one is the cause sentence. So as you see here, we use because to link both sentences. So we use the connectors, uh, the cause connectors or the effect connectors to link between sentences, as you see. So here, it's the cause sentence, I put the cause connector, the same for here. Let's read these sentences. My sister was scared of the mouse, so, so she yelled for help. My sister was scared of the mouse, so she yelled for help. Which one is the first? This one or that one? Of course, she was scared first, then she yelled for help. So this one is number one, and this two is, the second one is the second action. As you see, what happened second is for the effect. Okay, so as you see, this sentence is the effect. That's why I use here an effect connector, okay? The last one, Mark was tired, so he fell asleep in class. Mark was tired, so he fell asleep in class. Of course, he was tired first, or he fell asleep first. It's obvious. He was tired first, then he fell asleep too. Of course, this is an effect connector, okay? So before the effect sentence, I have to use an effect connector, okay? Effect connector, effect sentence. And this is the cause. This is why he fell asleep. Because he was tired. See? Okay, good. Let's, let's learn more connectors. Okay, so you have other linking words which express 
because, okay? Not only because. So you have because, since, and as. The difference is that because is common in English, okay? It's common. But since and as are more formal, okay? More formal. Good. Let's see in this example. Nebula went to and channel. Sorry, I forget. Nabila went to a channel because she wanted to visit Da Vinci's house, Leonardo Da Vinci's house, okay? So she went to a channel because she wanted to visit Da Vinci's house. Which action is the first? This one or this one? Of course, Nabila went to a channel is the second action and this one is the first. And as I already told you, when you ask the question what happened first, okay? This is, means that this is the cause. And this is the effect. And what comes, the connector that comes before the cause sentence is a cause connector, okay? Good. Let's see the use of as and since, okay? You can use as or since in the same sentence. As Nebila wanted to visit Da Vinci's house or since Nebila wanted to visit Da Vinci's house, I have to put a comma here, comma, she went to a channel, you see? To link these two sentences, I have to use the comma because the cost connector is put in the beginning of the sentence. We put the connector in the beginning of the sentence, so here I have to add a comma, okay? If I use since or as in the middle of the sentence, no need to use a comma, okay? I will say, she went to a channel since she wanted to visit Da Vinci's house. Good. Now let's move to the effect connectors. You have so, and you also have therefore and as a result. Okay, so therefore, as a result, are markers or connectors that express the effect. Good. Nebila was a fan of Picasso's paintings. Okay? Come on. So, she went to visit his house in Malaga. You see here? After so, we have to use a comma. Okay? Which action is the first? Was she a fan of Picasso first? Or did she go to visit his house in Malaga? Of course, she is fan first, so she was a fan first, then she decided to go to visit his house in Malaga. Yes, so of course what happened second is this action, so this action is effect sentence. Of course if before the effect sentence you have to use effect marker, which is so, therefore, or as a result. Let's see here the use of therefore and as a result. She was a fan of Picasso's paintings and therefore went to visit his house in Malaga. Here I add and, okay? So when you use therefore with and, no need to put a comma here, okay? So instead of a comma, I just put and. She was a fan of Picasso's painting and therefore went, without saying she, okay? And therefore went to visit his house in Malaga. The last one. She was a fan of Picasso's paintings. Full stop. As a result, comma, you see? She went to visit his house in Malaga. So for this connector, you have to use a full stop before and a comma after. Okay? So as I said, she went to visit his house is the second action. This is what happened. Okay? Good. And what was the result of this action? This one. What was the result? As she is a fan, she went to visit his house in Malaga. Good. Let's make now, let's practice with an activity. Right connector, cause or effect. As I already told you, the cause connectors 
or because as since. The effect ones are so, therefore, and as a result. Here you can use therefore alone or you can use it with and. Good. Let's read these examples. Westminster Palace was destroyed by a fire in 1834. It was, you see here, come on. It was rebuilt six years later. Which action is the first? The palace was destroyed by a fire or it was rebuilt six years later. It's obvious that this action is number one. And this action, uh, rebuilt, is the second one. So, before the cause effect, the cause sentence, sorry, you have to use as. As is the cause. It's a cause connector. So, before the cause sentence, you have to use the cause connector. As Westminster Palace was destroyed by a fire in 1834, it was rebuilt six years later. Good. The second example. He was a brilliant writer and, and his books rapidly became bestsellers. Which action is the first? Was he a brilliant writer first? Or did his books become bestsellers first? Of course, this one is the first action. So it's the cause sentence. This one is number two. Okay, this is the result. So it's the effect, the consequence. So here you have to choose an effect connector, so therefore or as a result. As I have here and, so I just add therefore. And therefore, his books rapidly became bestsellers. Good. Okay, right. His books rapidly became bestsellers. He was a brilliant writer. So here, as you notice, I just changed the order of the sentences. This one becomes the first. So, his book rapidly became bestsellers. This is the, the, the sentence, the action number. Two, he was a brilliant writer, is the action number one. So this is the cause, you see? And this is the effect. And as I already told you, before the cause sentence, I have to write, to connect, to link the sentences using a cause connector. Here, let's choose, or let's write, because. Okay? Because. His books rapidly became bestsellers because this is the reason. This is the reason why his books became rapidly bestsellers. Good. It's easy to guess the meaning of Alhambra. It's an Arabic word. Huh? As you already know, Alhambra comes from the Arabic word al qal al -hamra. Okay, so it's easy to guess the meaning of Alhambra. It's an Arabic word. Which action is the first? Of course, it's an Arabic word. Alhambra is an Arabic word first. Huh? And that's why we guess easily the meaning. So this is the effect. In order to link these two sentences, I have to use connector. Which one? I can just write. It's easy to guess the meaning of Alhambra as, as it's an Arabic word. Now let's change the order of sentences and we start with this sentence. Alhambra is an Arabic word. It's easy. It's easy to guess its meaning. Of course, which sentence is the one, is the first? Which action is the first? Alhambra is the Arabic word. This is action one. And this is action two, which is the effect. And this one is cross sentence. It's the 
both sentences. So, in order to join or link these two sentences, I have to use an effect marker. Okay? Just write so. Alhamdulillah is an Arabic word, so it's easy to guess its meaning. Good, that's all about it for today. Hope you enjoyed this lesson. Goodbye.